Hello and welcome! You are watching me, Brathgar, and I run a YouTube channel here on the interwebs and uh, do gaming contents. And I wanted to answer the question, and that is, how do you find the largest files on your computer? It's a common problem that we all tend to have. At one point, we download too much stuff, and now our computer is full of junk, and we gotta get rid of some of it. So how do we find the big files? Because those are the ones that really matter. I mean, the little kittlebyte stuff, that matters back in like Windows 95, 98, back when the hard drives were small. Now we got terabytes coming out of the air. I mean, check out what I got right here. I got a terabyte for just my games and my system, and then two terabytes for recording, and then stuff that's floating around on networks. Dude, I got like 10 terabytes here, but I got a lot of files that I create too. So, let's find out how we actually get that stuff to find we're gonna search for the biggest files all right right here this is windows 8 it probably works on windows 7 if it's before that you probably should upgrade your computer but hey you know what maybe you can try it out and let me know about it in the comment section below anyhow we can go over here to search and the first thing that dropped down right there is size so you can search for gigantic which is going to be greater than 128 megabytes and suddenly this thing starts populating with all of these different you know, different things that are huge and they're pulling it from all over the computer. However, one thing that we got to notice right here is that 128 megabytes to me is kind of small. <laughs> and what I did here is you can actually sort by the file or the date or what type it is or how big the size is. And that's what I did. I sorted by size descending. So I started from the biggest. But what we noticed when you hit that search button and we looked at that area down here is that this is an actual search term that we can modify so we can take that same sort of algorithm that they got there syntax super code whatever you want to call it and we can type in our own stuff so if we do this we can do let's say greater than 50 gigabytes I mean that's huge how many files of those do you have holding around on your computer well I have a few because I do way too much stuff on YouTube but whatever so there we go, I have two search results that are bigger than 50 gigabytes. You wanna get more complicated with this, maybe you know your file that you're looking for and you just don't know where you put it is two gigabytes. It was a download, you don't know where it happened, somebody moved it, you, your computer blew up and you had to like relocate it, it's happened, all right? Hit space, you can hit less than, let's say 70 gigabytes, right? So now I should only get that one result right there. So there you go, you can use your search terms and you can look for big files. So for those of you that came for the title and that's all you wanted to find, big files, then you know, awesome, there you go. However, I don't think that is the best way to look at files in your computer and to sort out your data problem. So let's work together here and we can make it through this data storage problem together. And I got a great tool for you. So let's check this tool out. So welcome to the tool that I like to use. This is tree size free. You can find it over here at jamsoftware.com slash tree size and then find it under the downloads. I'll have a link in the you know, information section below. There's a lot of good stuff down there. Usually a lot of links, check it out. Not affiliate, these guys aren't paying me at all. I'm just saying, just being honest, all right? This is tree size and what you do here is you can aim it at a certain folder so for me, again, I have the two hard drives that are here on my computer. I'm going to look at D this time. Select this folder, and what you get is a folder full of files because that's what you really want to find. You want to find those folders full of files that you don't even need, and that's where your data problems happen, so that's where we're going to look for it. You might have a game that got installed. It was in beta, then it no longer is there, and you don't have the option to uninstall it, and you don't know if it's still on your computer. This is a great way to go and find that, or you can just check out to see where all your resources are going. For me, on this folder here, which is D, which is going to be my main recording file for everything that I am actively working on or editing, I now understand that I have 568 gigabytes in recordings. And so this is unfiltered stuff, stuff that I have just hanging around for me to actually take care of right now. And then other things that are like on standby as far as stuff I'm editing, that's what the little E stands for, that's my own code, that's not stuff this, you know, tree size is coming up with, that's 390 gigabytes. But let's aim this back again at my C drive because quite frankly that's what most of us look at, we aren't all YouTubers, 
like me. So we got to be able to find out where, where the stuff is going. So we don't see files straight off the bat. They just show up as files. It's kind of summarized. It's not real broken out. You can do some different things to kind of sort it A to Z, 9 to 1, and then sort by how big stuff is, gigabytes, megabytes. If that makes sense. This little scale here means it goes to megabytes if it's under a gigabyte. So it makes sense to look by that one because that's how we always see it. Or you can look at percentage or the different things right there. Pretty simple. It's, it's pretty obvious. And if you right-click on this stuff, you have a couple of options. You can open that location. So if I want to go to system, whatever, and then I probably don't have access to that one but I can go to users right there and there we go and I can see my user so cool and I can see that I have 87 gigabytes inside of there if I break that down I now know that that most of that is going to be under M Smith which happens to be me and then over about about 70 gigabytes of that is under videos because there was a time where that's the only hard drive I had on this computer so stuff some stuff in there and now I got to get rid of it so it's good to know that I have 70 gigabytes that I need to allocate somewhere else so I, that I can move my project files right there so that's a really good way of breaking things down and discovering where those files are if we look at something that's going to be a little bit more you know gamer like because we happen to be gamers on this channel and we're looking for steam and origin games and I can understand where most of those games are being stored origin games steam games a lot of those games that happen to have homes for stuff download into that home unless you set up your own custom stuff which is a real pain in the butt but maybe you have an ssd for your main drive and then you have a platter disc for your bulk drive and then you might want to sort stuff out then so this is a good way to kind of break it down and you can start to look here and see that steam apps is where my games are stored common and then you can see what games i have actively installed on my computer and you know if i got to get rid of one to make room for another this is a good way to understand what i need to do and it is free free forever and so i recommend downloading this because it is very very helpful it helps me you know figure out what files I got to move here however they do have some more professional stuff if you have money and uh, laying around that you want to spend therefore they do have the tree size professional as you can tell I'm under the trial version because I haven't bought it however I have added a couple of different locations here and this gives you some more bar graph stuff maybe you're working as an IT person at a company and you need to understand how much hard drive places this company here has some other stuff that is network based a little bit more fancy stuff than I really understand but I understand how big files are and I create a lot of big stuff at work too so it makes sense to be able to track that stuff because the last thing you want to do is have your storage space <laughs> run out so this is the same idea here you can use your home you can point it at different directories and this one manages and you can set it up to scan at certain times see what you've done over history which I haven't done the top 100 files means how big those files are within that folder so if I search by different folders here you're gonna see the biggest files there again leaning towards the title of this video and then you have the age of files which is a new uh, real-time strategy game of you know attacking platter discs with kilobytes it's pretty cool this game here has made by these software developers and uh, I'm really looking forward to it however I don't really know what the age of files is really used for except for old stuff that you need to get rid of and maybe that is helpful to you just different graphs that you can take a look at there as some other stuff here that they have the tree size I'll get to this one in a little bit tree size professional file search is this exact same thing as I just opened so forget that but this is the other useful one that I've looked at and what I've done here is this one searches I set up a search filter for duplicate files oh that is so useful the other way to do that is to open this guy up here type your file in and then let it search and see if it comes up multiple times and that's a pain in the butt because it takes a long time this here does a bulk thing you can aim it at all of your drives which I have done Ah, oh, and there you go. I know that I have some stuff that I know is duplicated, so I set the maximum kilobit to only look for 50 megabytes or more because I know I got some Kerbal Space stuff that is duplicated because I got some modified files and I'd want to have different game sets up and, you know, there's stuff that I know that I don't, I know that I don't want to include. I don't want to include everything that's really small fry. I want to see the videos and videos are big files. So I've seen here that I have a couple of videos that are hanging out and as you can see here the gigabytes are listed over here. So 5.6 take half of that because I can get rid of one of those files again over and over again. A lot of different areas where I can save a couple of gigabytes here and there. So. I've done a pretty good job all in all of keeping making sure that these files are being moved into their appropriate locations however there are a few places where it seems like I have drag and dropped into the wrong folder so this is a very useful thing and I would 
much <laughs> I would like to have this software but again this software here is not free so there you go right there and you can actually click on this stuff to actually see what it is it does give you a preview so if we were to actually look right here the battle bot body collector and uh, this one might be a little bit too graphical for the YouTubes oh, humanity! No, let the children see they'll grow up to be monsters however this is one of the video files right there so I can actually check that if I opened it up here it should be the same thing just to double check that I don't have two files named the exact same thing however it does craft reference like the file size and whatnot too so it seems pretty intelligent and very accurate based on what I've seen right here well there you have it guys I hope you found this useful and I was able to answer your question right there and all in all I think that's a sweet set of tools to help you with your storage problems. It's definitely helped me and uh, that's pretty cool. Let me know if there's another video that's going to be kind of helpful. I like to make these helpful videos every now and then just to, you know, introduce people to some things and answer some questions that people may not have had questions to or whatever. And uh, if you have some of those ideas, you can leave them in the comment section below. I also have another video. It's going to be popping up somewhere here on the screen, which means you can click it. That's what one of those things means. It's an annotation, the thing that you shouldn't turn off because people like me do a lot of hard work to make sure that you can get access to those cool videos. Of NetLimiter, for those of you with limited internet, you can click on that and figure out how to throttle down that internet so that you're not lagging out everybody in the game and you're not freezing up that Netflix if you happen to have a limited internet. That is a tool you can use to help you out there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this all very useful. Stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Brathgar out.